Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Esther Yeo, endocrinologist at Aspen Diabetes and Endocrine Clinic. Today we will be debunking some common myths about type 1 diabetes. Myth number 1. Type 1 diabetes is caused by eating too much sugar. Now this is completely untrue. Type 1 diabetes is not caused by eating too much sugar. In fact, the exact cause of type 1 diabetes is actually unknown. It's thought to be due to a combination of genetic as well as environmental factors like a certain virus or toxin which then triggers the immune system to attack its own cells. In this case, in type 1 diabetes, the autoimmune reaction is actually attacking the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin. And insulin, as we know, is a very important hormone that regulates our blood sugars. Okay, so this leads to insulin deficiency and then high blood sugars, which results in type 1 diabetes. And so in type 1 diabetes, patients will require insulin injections for life. So this leads us on to myth number two, which is that insulin cures type 1 diabetes. Now, insulin is actually used to manage type 1 diabetes. And in patients with type 1 diabetes, they often require two different types of insulin. The first is what we call a basal or background insulin. And this insulin helps to, cut, to control blood sugar levels in between meals and at fasting levels. On the other hand, there is a second type of insulin called the uh, bolus insulin or mealtime insulin which is given before meals in order to cope with the blood sugar spikes after food. So the dose of insulin needs to be individualized according to what each patient needs and adjusted based on their food, activity levels, stress and illness. And so Insulin does not cure type 1 diabetes but is essential for the management of type 1 diabetes. Next, we come on to the next myth which is that people with type 1 diabetes cannot eat sweets or even desserts. Now, we know that sweets and desserts, they contain carbohydrates. Now, once they're in the body, they're actually converted to glucose. So in that sense, if we consume too much carbohydrates, that can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels. And spikes in blood sugar levels that is sustained over a long period of time can lead to long-term complications of diabetes. Uh, a person with type 1 diabetes can have the occasional indulgence in sweets and desserts as long as they know how to manage their uh, total carbohydrate portions and that to bear in mind that everything should be in moderation. Another myth is that you can control type 1 diabetes through diet alone. Now we know that in type 1 diabetes, the body is not able to produce enough insulin or makes only very minimal amounts of insulin. As such, insulin injections is really required to manage type 1 diabetes. The insulin injections that is being administered can be given in a variety of ways. For instance, um, insulin pen injections, uh, syringes and valves, as well as insulin pump as an alternative insulin delivery device. So while insulin injections are important in managing type 1 diabetes, it is also very important to remember that having a healthy diet, a healthy lifestyle is also equally important. The next myth is that once you have type 1 diabetes and you have been prescribed your insulin dose, you don't need to see a doctor that often. Well, this is not true. A person with type 1 diabetes will still need regular follow-ups and reviews to ensure that your glucose levels stay within the target range, as well as to monitor for any potential complications. So the follow-up reviews can be between 2 to 4 monthly intervals depending on how stable your condition is. But more importantly, people with type 1 diabetes should be taught important skills to be able to self-manage. And this includes, firstly, being able to recognize carbohydrate content in food and being able to count carbohydrates. Secondly, knowing how to adjust your insulin dose based on your food portions, your activity levels, um, your stress levels, as well as for any sick days or acute illness. Thirdly, it is very important to 
check your blood sugar levels regularly, whether it's with the traditional finger prick blood sugar testing or with continuous glucose monitoring devices. So type 1 diabetes can be managed well by firstly understanding more about the condition, secondly knowing how to adjust your insulin doses and finally by checking in frequently with your healthcare team and your endocrinologist.